Hello and welcome back to Darshan Dev. I am Darshan and in this video we are going to start making an app which is going to be a hotel management system. An app which is going to be the back end and the both front end of a hotel. Like clients could book, this is the app okay, and clients could book uh, hotel rooms or multiple of hotel rooms and then the owner of the hotel could go online and go into an admin panel and check out all of those things and uh, manage the specifications so we are going to build that kind of thing it's also going to have user, user management and then uh, e-commerce kind of things like they'll be able to pay from there so it's going to be a very full-fledged app so in this HMS folder I have just a git ignore for our Django app and now I'm going to open it with VS code and in this video we are just going to create the models that we're going to need and uh, let us do that okay so before we do anything I'll just initiate a git repository over here so I'm gonna run git init okay so now we're going to start by installing Django make all the installs that you need like Django mm, Django shortcuts and uh, that's what I can remember right now let's do that for now oh but there's one thing that we forgot to do we forgot to initialize our virtual environment so let's do that first because in this base we already have Django and Django shortcuts we, but we also have a lot of other things this is the normal conda environment so let's initialize our environment that will be python m when when so now it should generate a virtual environment here this one folder let's wait for a while yeah now it's done so now let's activate it so dot when bin activate so if you have been uh, if you have already been through all of this so you should just skip a bit ahead and continue from there on because this is just going to be the normal cookie cookie cutter process that we do in every django project or django app so let's do it i'll do the pip installs So now let's create our app, I mean our project. Our project is going to be HMS. So it's the it's going to be the same directory that we are in. So I want the pythonmanage.py file here. So I'm going to do Django admin start project H HMS. Wait a second. It should be capitalized HMS dot. okay it's done let's start our app and our app will be called uh, very appropriately hotel you may name your app whatever you want but I'm using hotel here so let's do the normal process adding our app to our uh, installed apps I'll add it here I'll save it and then will just launch our server and see we already know it's gonna work it works all the time oh but we don't have the migrations we need to apply them so this is our local host and we have successfully launched it so let's go to our VS code and now start making our 
and we always start from models so I've really thought about this models and uh, sh you should do too because your case might be different from mine so now I'm going to make two models that are room and booking and we'll later move on to our user model which will be our guest model but let's start with room so let's do it class room it will inherit the model stock model and then what should our room have it should have a number it should have number of beds the capacity i mean the people it can hold and uh, that should be it so number is models dot char field but suppose we want to make it much more simpler we won't have like uh, a001 or b002 we'll have just numbers let's do integer field and then we'll have the rooms category like we can't have type because you know type is a keyword so i'll have a tuple here room categories so our room categories will be equal to this in there we'll have yc which i've carefully thought about yc is yes ac <laughs> we don't need yac but since we have nac which is non-ac we will need to have something before ac so let's do it this way i found this is the most effective way for me but maybe it's something different for you you can implement your version so yc nac del which is definitely you know a famous one deluxe and then we'll have something like king and queen this is gonna be king and uh, another one is gonna be queen so this is our room categories tuple so now we're going to declare our category So this is a good way to categorize rooms I think so when you want to use this tuple you have to declare a char field with the max length of 3 because we have only 3 characters over here and this is going to be stored in the database the left one and the right one is going to be dis displayed to us so give your max length to be three and your choices mm, yeah your choices to be room categories and that's it gonna that's gonna be it I mean we'll save it and uh, let's try to remember if we have anything else yeah. so it's gonna be models of our field one thing we forgot is the number of beds and capacity so both of them are gonna be integer fields because you're never gonna have half a bed or half a person so let's do models dot integer field and uh, the same over here i'll just copy paste it so we'll have capacity here Now we definitely have our model created let's do all the migrations but before that we need to define our string uh, our string method so let's do it define dunderstore that's what it's usually called double underscore str double underscore so whenever you print or do something with your model it will show you this representation that you provide here so 
if you say it should return an f string if you don't know what f strings are you should really learn about them then a new way of uh, you know dot format so they will it will return the room number that is self dot number then um, dot it will return self dot category because that's important and it will return all of these things because uh, we should know the number the category and the number of beds in the capacity because and uh, I want to tell you that this and this one are not going to be same always because if two people are supposed to sleep on the same bed because the bed is too big I mean that's supposed to happen then you won't have the beds and capacity equivalent so those two should be different so self dot number self dot category and uh, with self dot beds for self dot capacity people so i hope you are done we are done here let's stop our server let's do django mm which is django make migrations and then django m which is django migrate that's that's from the django shortcuts we have installed but if you haven't installed them or don't want to install them then you can do it the old way that is python manage dot pi make migrations but we have to do it so many times that i just installed django shortcuts that's better then we do python manage dot pi migrate but this time I'm gonna I'm gonna do my way. I'll just type Django mm. I mean Django m. And if you wanna do make migrations this way, then you just type Django mm. So it's done. So we do Django r. That's same as Python manage dot run server. Now we go to our server, refresh it. Oh, but nothing's done yet. We haven't created our super user, and neither do we have. Are registered into the admin site so inside our admin let's import our rooms model we'll import it this way from dot models import room and uh, admin dot site dot register room and we save it so now we are supposed to get our room in the admin panel but before that we have to create a super user so that we can log into our admin site so we create that by python manage dot pi create super user okay python manage dot pi create super user but you can do it either another way so you can do Django CSU that's create super user and I'm gonna create DKD with a simple password and I'll bypass the security that's great I'll do Django R and let's go to our admin site I'll log into slash admin with my username and password that I was just created and then we'll create a bit of room for ourselves <laughs> like 101 102 103 a lot of rooms let's go with 101 category will be ac beds will be two for two save and another let's go for 102 it will be non-ac beds for four four let's go with 103 it will be deluxe and let's make it a couple's room and uh, let's go with 104 and it's gonna be a king I don't know what a king is but let's see one and one and queen will be the same 
it will have one bed and that's it I think we have five rooms that's 101 to 105 and uh, it just follows our representation of our this representation that is cell dot number dot room type with two for two people ah, two beds it should say beds not two for two people well we save it we go here refresh it oh now it's better so it's room number 101 is AC with two beds for two people room number 102 is non AC with four beds for four people and if you did not do this then it would look really not that good it would look like this oh wait a second it would look like this room object this 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 so that's not a good thing but instead of defining the string method I mean dunder store method you could also define dunder wrapper but that's another thing let's move on to creating our booking oh, we would have created our booking model but this video has already got 15 minutes long so let's stop here let's save our changes to our Ginnet, uh, I mean git repository so we'll do git status and check what it is we have all of this then get, i'll do git add all git commit m initial oh i forgot the quotes initial commit so let's check git status everything is done we have done our git commit and our work is saved that's it for this video hope you enjoyed the video and hope you continue with the series we are going to learn a lot in this series and uh, let's see you in the next video bye bye